good afternoon. Thank you for coming out to the, uh, the KR webinar. We're glad to have you all here. Um, we're going to take you through the booth. I'd like to introduce you to the president of Kukarinkin, Bob Blake. Bob, say hi to everybody out there. Hello, everybody out there. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, today, we're going to show you some great tools that you'll be able to work with. And a uh, little bit about Kukarinkin. Kukarinkin's from the uh, Seattle area, has offices around the country. We uh, were started in 1928, uh, producing a little old hand level that a lot of you may know about, and we still produce them today. So with that, I'll give it back to Douglas. So Bob, one thing, one question I want to ask for the people at home. If I were to sum up what Cooper Rankin offers to the public in one word, what would that word be? Precision. Precision. So drone pilots are learning a lot about precision today. I mean. As a, a drone pilot of many years, I thought I understood precision until I met you. That is correct. So if you can explain a little bit about uh, you know, how precision applies to unmanned versus how people maybe think about precision, that might help. Well, first of all, most people are aware of drones that are, uh, that are just out there taking pictures and flying, flying around. Well, we can take those pictures and we can apply them to the, to the ground with some precision GPS and locate them with some precision controls. So, so when we combine the GPS, RTK, precision controls, we actually can bring those images down to the ground in a precise position. How accurate can we get? How precise can we get? We can get down to the centimeter level. Well, so let's talk about some of the drones we have in the show here. So let's step over this way. Let's say hi to Aaron Beach from Microdrones. Again. So Aaron, why don't you tell us what uh, what we're looking at here? We see a massive aircraft. Why is it so large? Well, so this is our uh, this is our micro drones uh, MD1000 lidar, and we're showing our new HR system, which has been out for about three months now. Uh, this is a full uh, industrial serene and uh, mapping grade uh, drone, and typically comes equipped with lidar, but also uh, we do 3D cameras. Uh, we have a 42 megapixel Sony, Sony camera, uh, and we also even offer uh, gas detection. So we have a program gas detection now on the bottom of the drone. Okay, so you, you've done all the great work on the hardware, but at the end of the day, the only thing that makes a drone valuable is the output, the deliverable. What has MicroDrone done to make deliverables more accessible? Well, so what makes us different is we're a full integrated solution. So from the, from the mission planning, to the hardware that we see here, to the software, which is of course what produces our delivery. So we can, uh, like I said, we, we produce the whole platform, uh, we service the whole platform. We can create a LiDAR point cloud on, a, you know, one battery can film a, or process a 70 acre job. And about one, battery, one, battery. Yeah. one battery, 70 One battery, 70 acres. Holy smoke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's really the ability to do the end-to-end -end fully integrated solution. What are the uh, verticals that you're primarily servicing with this aircraft? So primarily um, engineering firms, that's our that's our focus, surveyors. Uh, you know, we're finding more and more that it's harder and harder to find surveyors. And so this, in these environments where the safety is a problem, uh, you know, we solve all kinds of issues with that. Uh, you know, we've made it a lot easier, you know, a couple of checkpoints, uh, you know, for your TCPs, uh, so you're not out there cutting line for days and days. This can do a job in a day or so, uh, you know, what will take a week or more in more. traditional methods. Outstanding. So you've got the LiDAR system, you've got the photogrammetry system, you mentioned you've got a Sony camera system mm -hmm. as well, so that the RX-1100? RX-1 or 2. All right. Really high resolution yep. data. Yep. And, and 70 acres on a single battery. Single battery. So what's our, our average flight time on this? About 35 minutes. About 35 minutes. And what about the high winds? How well does this aircraft perform? It handles it really well. Uh, not only that, so it's like one point two meters. So uh, you know, down to uh, mega ten uh, to to 100 degrees. So you know, 120 degrees. Sorry, just we're moving up to using Vegas for Vegas. <laughs> it's not that hot here. All right, well, let's, uh, Aaron, thanks for taking a second to talk yeah, about microdose. We're going to grab Brady Rice. Right. Uh, Brady. Hey, Douglas, how you doing? Good, good. So here we are with Brady Rice, and he's got an exciting new aircraft for the precision industry. You want to tell us what we have here? Sure. So we have the Autel Evo 2 RTK system. So this one actually has an RTK module or real-time kinematic uh, corrections to get higher accuracy flights and higher accuracy modes to make sure you know exactly where you're at. So what does higher accuracy mean? How does that relate to positioning on the ground? 
So positioning on the ground, when you fly with something with like a, a traditional GPS system, you have really good X and Y, right? Or horizontal information, but really terrible vertical information because it doesn't know how close it is to the ground. The RTK system talks to a base station around uh, your network. And what that does is you have corrections from the ground and from the sky at the same time. So now you get a much higher accuracy through those photos. So this is going to tie into an N-trip network. Entrip network, yeah. So uh, spider networks, um, there's plenty of them around the country. Some are free, some are paid for. Depends on your area. So this will tie into that. What if I want greater precision? You, you, you look at what KR is doing with that? So yes, uh, KR actually is going to be coming out with a couple different options for you to have very high accuracy data. Uh, you can actually take your terrestrial uh, coordinate systems, right, with a base station and grab those coordinates, tie your information together from your photogrammetry or your images on your point cloud, and have something that's extremely precise. And if I'm hooked into a base station with this aircraft, am I no longer tied into NTRIP or does it happen at the same time? So you're able to tie in directly to this unit. If you don't have any uh, internet connection, for example, you're not connected to any other base station around your area because you, it all goes through your cellular data, right, through Wi-Fi. And if you have something like this in any rural areas, you're only connected to, uh, to this system, right? We're looking forward to this GeoMax bundle. This is something exclusive from Cooper Rankin. We have developed this for our customers with the R2K system specifically in mind to uh, give, allow our customers to have the greatest precision that's possible. At the end of the day, that really is what Cooper Rankin sells, as Bob mentioned earlier, is, is precision. Precision, and, right. And drone pilots are, I, I think, kind of new for the most part to the precision game. They they think that they're you know a couple of uh, six, eight, ten centimeters within accuracy they're doing well but the truth of the matter is you need to be down to centimeters and, right. right. and this aircraft at thirty two hundred dollars correct at thirty two hundred dollars it allows us to do that with the base station and the, the aircraft you have a total budget price of about ten thousand dollars so at ten grand you're buying the most precise system that is available uh, even compared to say some of the, the thirty five forty thousand dollars you can see here in the booth right now um, so that's essentially it. There's the dual. You want to talk about this? Yes. So this is the uh, Autel Evo 2 dual. This is currently made in the USA with foreign and domestic parts. This is a clear pulse on thermal uh, sensor, uh, which is non radiometric. Uh, this one captures uh, 640 by 512 and 30 hertz for the uh, for the resolution, which is incredible. Uh, so 30 hertz, if you think of about 30 frames per second uh, as traditional video. It's roughly about the same. So you're going to get something that you don't feel as when you turn around and move around. With a lot of other thermal payloads for, uh, for aerial aircraft, there are nine hertz. So you have a lot of uh, streaking as you turn it around. This has not no streaking. All right. Is there anything else you want to tell us about the Autel line before I move on with Bob? So uh, with the Autel line, uh, here we've got our live deck as well, which we're able to live stream all of our data from, uh, whether it's going to be the RTK unit or the dual unit. This is going to be a four and a half hour battery life. You can leave it plugged in if you'd like to. You can output over USB to a separate device, HDMI to a TV, or Ethernet to a computer. Now, I see a, uh, it's KR cells, please. I see this yes. really large antenna. Tell, tell us about the core hawk. Sure. So, this is a traditional uh, remote. If you flip this around, this is the same remote that you get with your aircraft. What we've got here is a lift thrower system, which is an exoskeleton, goes around the entire uh, remote to hold everything open. Then we've also mounted a third-party four hawk system. This is a directional antenna that gives us higher infra or a higher, uh, I, I guess penetration. Penetration, okay. yes. Uh, in order to make sure you have full visibility of what the aircraft is doing at all times, uh, in very heavy uh, Wi-Fi areas, right, in urban environments, this is great because it penetrates through a lot of the noise that you get, so you don't have a lot of the break. So does this give us greater range as well? In, so, in general situations. So in, in theory, yes, um, as long as we're maintaining what we have from the uh, FAA's BB loss, right? yeah, with our BB loss, uh, then uh, yes, it really it does. Um, so what we primarily use it for in Las Vegas is that we have a lot of casinos, a lot of Wi-Fi in the area. Using something like this, we penetrate through a lot of that noise. So we have greater penetration through uh, the area to make sure we don't have any break so we don't have any loss in the air. So it seems like it might be equally important to have something like this to use in the RTK drone. So that you know you're getting solid directions back to the aircraft. Correct, right? because it doesn't have to disconnect and reconnect constantly. So it doesn't have to keep trying to reconnect and figure out uh, how do I how am I running that calculation yet? Okay, now I need to rerun it because I'm reconnected. It's just a consistent signal going back. Outstanding. Well, Brady, thanks for taking a moment to talk with us. Yep. I'm going to step back with Bob. Right. We're talking about some of the other things that Cooper Rankin has to offer. So, kind of this, we've got a lot of things that are. 
that related to your drone? Can you tell folks a little bit about what, what's going on with some of these other tools? Sure. Well, what we have here is we have a DT research tablet, which is a rugged, ruggedized tablet that runs a software called Field Genius. Along with that, we have a GPS antenna. So we can go out if you want to, we can get our controls with this here or just do regular construction staking. Now, a lot of our viewers, are, since a lot of our viewers are drone viewers or the people that are on Facebook, they might not know what you meant when you said controls. What's a control? What's a control? Control is an established position on the ground that does not move. It's, it's a fixed position. So we can constrain our data as we collect it to the controls to make sure everything ends up in the right spot. Okay. okay. And you started to show us a few other things here. Yes, yes. And then here's, a, here's another tablet that we can actually use um, on a tripod to to monitor what our what our drones are doing uh we don't have it on right now but we we actually can use this type of system to to display what the drone is seeing so that's that's just another thing along with uh, uh precision type tripods tribrax uh down here is a is a uh, control target yeah, for our friends at Hood Man, the ground control target. Yes, yes. Other things you will need for actually for drones is you'll need road road cones. You'll have we have a scale down on the on the floor to constrain your data. And then we step over here, and then uh, separate from that, we have some construction tools uh, such as the PLS that does line laser, and, and a lot of guys use that for laying out. Uh, we have a light Alino, same thing, but this is supposed to be a green beam, which is very popular these days. Uh, and then along with uh, laser level, string line, and, and other accessories that go to the job sites. What would we use those uh, yellow targets for? Can we use those for drones? You absolutely can. They are targets. They are sticky on targets that you can put on the ground on the sides of buildings. And you can see these from, from the air or just from the ground there. The public so, safety could use these targets on a car. Any, a vehicle anybody could use these targets. They're reflective, so they will send back the signal back to the uh, instrument that we so They're good for use. LiDAR or photographic. Yes. Kind of either one. Yes. And so that's something specialized that uh, Cooper Rankin carries that you can come in at our offices. I see a large Leica scanner. I see some string. Yes, you do. Yeah, so all that is used on a construction site. And I know we want to tell people about our demo day. You want to go ahead and, and, and take the lead on that? Yes, we have a demo day uh, tomorrow from 9, 9 to 2 at the Equestrian Park. That's on Friday, actually. Tomorrow's Thursday. Oh, tomorrow's Thursday. Sorry. <laughs> I've been here too long. Uh, on Friday at the Equestrian Park. And uh, you're welcome to come out. Anybody, anybody here that uh, wants to join us, there will be... Uh, Something to drink and pizza, and we'll be flying drones all day. So, if people would like to fly a drone, we can put a drone in their hands and let them actually fly the drone themselves, hands on. That's correct. So, we'll be flying the uh, the micro drones MV1000. We'll be flying the new Autel uh, RTK Evo 2 and a few of the other drones. But we'll also have on site a mobile shack. So, we'll have a, a construction office on site so that we'll be able to run the, the software processing on site as well. So it's a, a full 360 experience from planning the flight, flying the, the mission, bringing the data down, importing it, and then outputs to the deliverables. Anything Very else good. you want to share with people before we're done here? I just want to thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you soon. Well, folks, thanks for joining us in today's Lunch and Learn with Aaron Beach and Brady Reich, Aaron from uh, Microdrones and, and Brady from Autel. And so uh, we're, we're really glad that you joined in with us on this particular Lunch and Learn. Please tune in for future Lunch and Learns every Wednesday at noon PST time. So please check in with us. And if you missed some of the previous ones, look in on the Cooper Rankin website and you'll be able to see some of our archived videos. Until next time, fly safe.